second film, Master the Flying Guillotine. One of my favorite flicks. I have tons of favorite flicks, but the Master Flying Guillotine, we had cable. I don't know if you guys remember, but cable had a box that went to the TV. And then one upstairs was a box you had to switch on top of the TV. You know, <laughs> you know. But the Master of Flying Guillotine was a great movie because also the one armed so um, swordsman was in there. No, no, no. one armed boxer. 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 King mistake. Boxer. One armed boxer was no, in there. No, not King Boxer. I've got the wrong boxers right there because King yeah. Boxer was the Five Fingers of Death with my man Lolay. Solid. Well, we're going to go for a man with one arm whooping tail. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, there were other unique characters in there, like such as the guy from India with very long leg arms. I can't say what limbs or who he's supposed to be at because you know copyright infringement. Yeah. And we had the tie boxer. Oh yeah. Man, that dude, okay, he was he was the he was he, hey, he was the boss. He was the boss man in that one because he would hit people like pow, pow, poof, pow. Until, until they, they figured him in that room. Yeah, they that, figured it out. Floor and cooked his body. Yeah, check this out. There was a scene in, in Flying Guillotine where they sent, you know, the the evil monk, because the you know, we gotta talk about the monk. Yeah. The monk whose brother, his, his brother got killed by the one on Boxer, who was played by, and, and just to let you know, the Boxer was played by Jimmy Wang Yu, excellent martial um, actor, I mean, he's cool, um, but anywho, the one on Boxer killed his brother, and he goes on a revenge streak here. Yeah, all this was over politics, just let it's you know this politics deal, okay? And, um... He goes and he has to fly. He's a master of the fly guillotine. He has to fly guillotine, just like in, in the you know, and all the old movies. Dueling guillotines, Duel, master guillotines, you know, giant guillotines. <laughs> but his know? was my favorite because he was blind. Yeah, he was blind. You couldn't. He couldn't see. But he had like radar ears. There was a scene in the master of the fly guillotine, the final fight, I should say, where. He, he was listening and his head turned around all extra oh, style. Yeah, like, swiveled around yeah. like. You know, I was like, dude. He was deep. He, he was deep. But we can we, 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 we get yeah, we yeah, get, yeah. Yeah, but we can't forget, man. Yeah. The whole concept of the movie was when the movie was made, it was a comfort flick, but it scared you. It scared me. I had a little sprinkles out because it, it scared me. Because you know, that was a kid when that came out. Now the whole film itself had characters that had likeness in some of the characters of cartoons and stuff Video now. Games, yeah. So if you really want to get into this film, get it. My buddy found it for me one day and I think the Reza had redid the, the soundtracks, soundtracks on it. On it. So it, it sounds, even it, I mean it sounds fat. So please, man, get that film. Yeah. One of my favorites. Ain't that right, Bolo? Bow!